Good morning, folks. Welcome to November. We've got a sudden amplification of solar activity, two earthquakes to mention, an excellent paper on solar forcing of the Earth's atmosphere, and a look back in time that paints a scary picture when looking ahead. We are starting with the last 24 hours on the sun, and there are two things to mention. Eruptions go off the incoming limb in the southern region due to a filament eruption, and incoming on the south, we can see the next coronal hole. The eruption that occurred over on the left side included the first M-class solar flare in days, flare flash visible here. The southern eruption was from a plasma filament. Now, neither event produced a CME that is heading for Earth, but those eruptions signal the re-emergence of higher activity levels on our star. Fun way to kick off the month. Two earthquakes struck 80 minutes apart yesterday. The first was in Fiji and was very deep at the transition zone of the mantle. The other struck Chile, much closer to the surface, but there are no reports of major damage. It should be noted that Chile is well prepared for magnitude 6 events, both the buildings and the people. An outstanding paper up next on drought events in the northwest part of China. They suggest that the main drivers of the patterns are solar activity, the North Atlantic Oscillation, NAO, and the Atlantic Multidecadal Oscillation, the AMO. Veteran observers likely recall previous studies showing how the NAO is worked by the sun to a significant degree, and the same goes for the AMO, also worked by the sun. So when they say that solar activity, NAO, and AMO are responsible for the precipitation trends, it's like they're saying the sun has three hands in the mixing bowl. Lastly today, a great article by Dr. Phillips appeared on spaceweather.com yesterday. It described the great Halloween solar superstorms of 2003. Now what I want those of you who have been around all year to notice is that they were capturing auroral activity in the southern states from that event, something that used to be rare and which took the major X-class flare events to produce back then. We've had that happen several times just this year from relatively moderate solar activity. And as we said when they happened, the solar activity was too weak to do that this year unless the weakening magnetic field of Earth is simply making us more vulnerable. That is getting worse by the month. Come out and see us November 18th at Observer Ranch. We'll do a little tour if weather permits. The EMP-proof disaster vehicle, the Big Burb, will be there as well. Tickets at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.